Hello everyone and welcome to Beast Gaming Adventures. I'm Trisha and welcome back to Northgard. We're going to be picking back up on the story mode today. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've last played. My uh, streaming schedule has been a little hit and miss lately. There's just been a lot of stuff going on. It's been kind of overwhelming so my streaming's had to take kind of a backseat I guess um, while I try to deal with everything else going on, which has been a lot. But I'm glad to be back today. I'm excited to be playing some more Northgard and continuing on with the story mode. Once again, this is... we're into chapters that I've never played before, so it's pretty exciting. I think last time we did chapter 8, uh, we had to go up against the Bear Clan, and I had used the Raven Clan for that. Yeah, Liv. Um, we basically had to do a fame victory, and the Bear Clan took the knee and recognized us as the rightful king. And we're gonna keep pursuing... I do not remember his name. It's the guy from the Boar Clan, who apparently is the actual big bad. Uh, so this is the map, this is all we've traveled so far. I don't know how many chapters there are. It looks like we might be coming close to the end of it. I feel like it's going to come up to the top kind of left area. But I guess we'll see. So chapter 9, Tremors. Hmm, that doesn't bode well. The runestone of Asgard is at last within reach and a desolate rhyme covered step. We need only walk there. Don't know what the bonus objectives are. We're gonna be... Oh! We're actually playing as the Clan of the Bear this time. Awesome. So we've got some starting bonuses. Food and firewood penalties in winter are reduced by 30%. You can summon Kaija the Armored Bear to your training camp, which is awesome. Instead of having reduced power, your military units gain 10% resistant bonus during the winter. Yeah, this clan is great during the winter months. Kindred Spirit at 200 fame. We get Shield Maidens in this one. Increases local production by 15%. At 500 fame, the Bear Awakens. Gain plus 3 fame per enemy unit killed in an area with the Shield Maiden. Military units gain plus 1 power per 100 fame. Kaija the Armored Bear can now go into enemy territory. Nice. So I guess she can't at this start. Uh, Borgil, brave and arrogant, the banner maiden of the Bear Clan, is a tough woman who bows to no one and shows little mercy for the weak-hearted. She refused to recognize you as the rightful king since you lost the regal horn, and so she challenged you to a contest from which you emerged victorious. She had no choice but to grudgingly pledge her allegiance. Alright, so I guess without further ado, let's get started on Chapter 9. Tremors. I had just managed to subdue Borikil and her bear clan on our way to the Runestone. They were, like us, from the old continent, but had come ashore in a completely different place. As we neared the Runestone, Svarn grew more and more agitated. He confessed to be dreading something that lay ahead, though he couldn't tell what it was. Some of our people were also reluctant to move forward. Northgard was getting harsher and harsher, as if trying to deter us from pursuing our goal. Hmm, the air is g getting colder. Much c colder, as a matter of fact. That is w one way to p put it. I am freezing. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting all my life choices. Being a b berserker and all, I, I can't feel my toes. I j just long for a hot soup by the hearth. I'm thinking of all the f firewood we'll have to b 
burn to get warm again, and it's making me d depressed. Come now, a little cold never killed no one. Are y'all babies? Want me to tuck you in warm a little bit? Uh, want me to tuck you in? Wow, I can't read that line like that. Want me to tuck you in warm little beddies? Hey, I'm all for you warming up my be bed. <laughs> really, Ego? Let's just say you're not me type, doggy boy. Lo, oh, we have arrived. The runestone of Asgard lines yonder. Let us hide... Hide there? Really? Yeah, okay. Svarn? We should turn back. I do not wish to face what lies ahead. Come on, Piggy, it's just a big stone. You boys aren't afraid of rocks now, are you? Whoa, what was that? Whoa, what is that? No, not this. This beast has haunted my dreams all my life. Ooh, tis a Rimgindir. No idea if I said that right. I never saw one with me own two eyes. All my ancestors famously killed one each. You think you could cancel that b beast, Borgid? Yeah, it almost kind of looks like a uh, an ice wraith, but a giant one. Well, I can't pass the chance to hang its hat in my trophy room, even if I die trying. Let's settle here. Ah, uh, tis good to feel my fingers again. So how should we go about slaying the beast? Well, those beasties are pretty much invulnerable to basic weapons. We have to forge a special family weapon we call the Worm Slayer. We'll need some rims, rhyme steel and a forge. Rhyme steel? The famous icy ore said to be found only in Niflheim? <laughs> Ye southerners sure know how to inflate your legends. No need to go to Niflheim. Rimgindir typically live in rhyme-steel-rich environments, so we shouldn't have too much trouble finding some round here. Wow, that thing looks cool. Well, good luck with that. Borgid, I will help you fend off the beast while the miners are at work. Even if we cannot make a dent in its armor for the time being, we should be able to distract it, no? Hmm? Clearly I cannot watch this from the sidelines. I shall help too, Lady Borgin. Yeah! Can't let a broad take all the credit for downing such a big monster now, can I? Count me in, Borgie. Uh -huh. Not too keen on being devoured alive, but we haven't much of a choice, it would appear. Count me in too. Ho -ho. I need to face my deepest fears. I shall fight with you all. All right, let's do this. Hey, and we begin. Clan of Bjarki. This clan is less susceptible to the effects of winter and cold than others, and is even more powerful and productive during this season. Their mastery of shields and ability to train armored bears make them experts in the art of defense. And we start with our armored bear. Let's get a scout camp going. Put it over here and get a woodcutter's lodge. And hi, Linalia. Thanks for joining today. How are you doing? That's good. This is done. Let's get... No, not the person currently working. Let's get you over there. I'm doing all right. Just a little exhausted and sore. Uh, got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do today before I go to work tomorrow. So fun, fun. Oh, uh, this is called Northguard. Guard, 
and welcome to the channel. I'm gonna pronounce your name just as Lorenzo because I don't know if I can pronounce the rest of that, so... <laughs> Thanks for joining us! And okay, we've got a wood production going. What's around? A whole bunch of stone. We need to find food production. It would be nice if this is a forest tile. Nope, not a forest tile. Go search this one. But yeah, Northgard is kind of a RTS game with hexagons, I guess. <laughs> And it's all kind of based around Norse, yeah, Norse mythology. Which I'm a huge mythology fan, so... Hey, we got some sheep. Any... No, there's literally only sheep here. No fish on this tile. Ah, dang it. Take a look at that one. Oh, hey, this is a forest tile. Well, we can at least get some... Wood, better wood production going. Um, my population just maxed. Let's build a house over here real quick. And some more. Oh, the worm's moving. Roar. Oh. Did that just consume some... What the? The Remunder just devoured a rhyme steel deposit. Aye, Remunder feed on rhyme steel. That's why they live so close to deposits. I suppose we shouldn't let it get too comfortable then. It has probably been idle for too long. If we let it eat all the rhyme steel, we'll be left with no way to slay it. Oh, crap. Well, that's unfortunate. What's considered... Okay, that's all rhyme steel, that's all rhyme steel. And let me guess, I literally only have stone over here, yep. Well, alright, we were gonna put down a woodcutter's lodge in here. Go build that. Once the scout is done scouting, I'm going to have him go down here because I think there's fish on this tile. So if I can make my way down there. What is that? That's just iron. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to have to try to move fast, which I don't do very good with. Games like this remind you of Warcraft and Lord of the Rings Middle Earth? Yeah, uh, I haven't I haven't really played... I've played World of Warcraft, but not Warcraft itself. I have seen it, though. Um... It reminds me of, like, of course, Age of Empires, Age of Mythology, that's kind of what I grew up with, strategy game-wise. Oh boy. Oop! Get, up, get over there. Um... Gonna move my woodcutters over here, I think. That one's full, though. I'm gonna leave this one. I really... Oh, this tile has fish. Yeah, it's guarded by a bear, though. Hmm. I might just have to slaughter sheep for a little bit. We're gonna need a forge. Reach the runestone of Asgard and decipher its runes. That's our ultimate goal. Which is over there. By this snake. Giant near invincible rhyme serpent living mostly underground. Only the worm slayer can make a dent in its diamond hard icy scales. Great. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to kill some sheep for food for a little bit. Um Scout, where are you going? Yeah, scout that. Hey, there's fish on this one. And it's only guarded by a wolf. I could probably take that. 
go wreck this wolf stay. I have an armored bear. That's right. Let's colonize this. What do I need? Okay, I can already build the forge, so I might as well just do that real quick. I'm gonna have to expand out that way though to get the rhyme steel. So let's get someone building that. And I should have enough wood for a fisherman's hut over here. Get another villager on that. I'm also gonna build a mine so I can mine up that stone and just get it out of here so I have room for more buildings on this land. Um, so I'm gonna want another fisherman down there anyways. Go build that. So Lunalia, have you played through all the chapters then in the story mode? do anything with the forge yet unfortunately where's the person here um, our population is at nine let's just build a house over here oh nice do you remember how many chapters it is <laughs> I'm just curious since I, I don't have a clue Oh, there you are. Go become a fisherman. And you also become a fisherman. Let's get a miner over here. And now that you're done building that, let's go research some more. Alright, we're positive in food production. Oh, I just realized I'm not in a place where I can actually have a, a longship dock or anything. Whoa. Let's produce more wood or extra. Let's do the faster ore right now. Ah, uh, you don't know how many chapters? Okay. I feel like we're getting close to the end of this. So I'm gonna have to pick another strategy game soon. Oh boy. Um. Crap, I can't- oh, this only allows two buildings on it? Dang, yeah. Okay. Let's get him another miner and get that out of there as soon as possible. Let's see, I could work on training camps right now. I should probably get a healer's hut. And a brewery. there's space for a brewery over here since I don't need a longship dock. Uh, you can build this. So there's fish over here. I don't think I can take that one. I could take this. Let's do this. And we're in winter in our first year which is fine because we don't take like any winter penalties which is nice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't have the food to colonize. Dang. Let's get a healer going. I think they'll still gather food when they're done healing. Uh are you are you my scout? Are you like done already? Really? Wow. Yeah, okay. I guess this is the whole map then. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna keep my scout because this land has a thing I can search. So when I can colonize it, I'll do that. Oh boy, did I eat more rhyme steel already? Let's go clear this out. I could organize a feast. You know what, my food is alright right now.
Let's get a brewer. Make my peeps super happy. Oh yeah, I got some more research. Let's do sharp axes. 20% more wood. Then we'll go for colonization next, I think. Oh, hey, those are our friends. Oh, they're gonna go distract the snake as it ate more rhyme steel. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to move fast, aren't I? Oh boy. I can't mine that stuff though until I get the land out there. Uh, which I need more food production. Hurry up with this. <laughs> How much? There's 17 stone left. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna slaughter a sheep so I can get the extra boost. I'm gonna take this land even though it doesn't really have anything helpful on it. Uh, let's go kill this bear. We might be able to colonize this one soon. I really want this corner too because I've got fish and lore stones and more sheep. I mean like kill all but one sheep. Poor things. I'm sorry guys. Um, how are my peeps doing against... Okay, they're good. Wow, that took a while. Okay, so I've got 261 food. This has fish on it and more lower stone, so that's food and more research, which I really want. And then I can push out here and hopefully get at least one rhyme steel deposit before it eats all of those. Or one of these, actually. It's only a hundred? Um, let's go for this one. And we're gonna build a mining thing out there immediately. Good, tis the first territory with rhyme steel we control. We'd best defend it, because beasts don't like trespassers. Oh, great. And I don't have, like, a military at all. Uh, hopefully my friends will come help. Which looks like they are. That's good. Let's go build that up. Uh, I only have 23 food. I own this now, right? Let's get this going. Another villager down here. Oh, my population capped. Can I build another house anywhere? Uh, I'll do it over here and by the forge. Where is a villager not building? Come here. Uh, buildings with no workers. Okay, yeah, that. And you're still idle. Go be a villager. I can make another scout later to check out these ruins if I ever get them. Okay, that's built. Where is the villager? Right there. Let's get another person on that. How much rhyme steel do I need? Let's forge. Let's check. Uh, 40 rhyme steel? Oh my gosh. Got two months before him. I'm gonna be der attacks. Let's get a training camp going. Uh, okay, colonization. Probably gonna want the oh my god, I'm like I've got no food. Hey, you guys are done here. Yes, destroy this building. Can I build a wood silo? I can. Or a food silo, not a wood silo. Uh, I can't tell the miner to go be a villager again. You go be a villager again. This villager, come out here and build this. Nope, you're you're not a villager, you're a healer. You're a brewer. Where's my villagers? Come on. And I'm gonna need another miner over here. Oh, nope, it's full already. Never mind. I assigned two people to it. Oh, it came. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on my two folks. That's two months already. Stay away. Don't eat anything. 
I am heavily wounded. Sorry, companions, but I must withdraw for now. I shall return sometime later. Okay, so everybody's gonna get chased off. Oh, come, come back, come back to the territory over here. How's my bear? Okay, my bear's all right. Uh, I don't know if we can actually like chase it away. Okay, bear, fall back. Oh, it's gonna kill my villagers really quick. Dang it. Oh, it's gonna take the territory? What? What? Well, alright. This is... This sucks. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to take the territory back. Yeah, you know any any uh, any enemy at ter uh, uh, any enemy occupying your territory is gonna take it. I just don't know if we can actually like chase it away. Everyone's all like, "Oh, you know, let's uh, attack it and we'll distract it," but it's like if we can't do any damage to it and we can't seem to chase it away, then what am I supposed to do? Just let my people die? every time it attacks or lose my territory and have to repurchase it every time. That's kind of unfortunate. And it's gonna attack again, like before I even really get any rhine steel. How much have I collected? Uh, I don't even know if it, where it would show. I only have stone and iron up here. Oh boy. And it's gonna attack again soon, so I might just pull my my miner out so I don't lose more people. Um food production bonus do weaponsmith right now. I'm a Thane. Can you have shield maiden? Sweet. Uh, Hi, Kaija. Okay. How do we get shield maidens? I need to start building up like a freaking army. Okay, it's about to attack, so I'm at least going to pull my miner out of there. Yep, here it comes. I don't know how I can keep him occupied somewhere else when he only pops up in the tile that I own. Like... Oh, did I let Kaisa die? I did. I was not paying attention. Oh boy. That's not good. I'm gonna have to purchase other tiles, I'm sure, and then just, like go back and forth between them. I know this only has one on it, so... Uh, I need to build some fishermen huts. Whoops, that's not a fisherman's hut. Where is my fisherman's hut? I can't... Oh, I don't own this, that's why. Well, crap, where am I? Yeah, go ahead, whatever. Jackass. He still captured it, even with my person on there. Now he's gonna just go... Oh god, this is... Alright, I need more food. <sighs> what do I need for Kaisa? I need iron, don't I? Nope, just food. Food and gold. Okay. 
go back and be a villager. I got more stuff I need. Um, your non sick clan members heal during winter in allied territory. Oh, that's awesome. At least one military camp. What do we got over here? Okay, that's really good. Yeah, let's go for hibernation and then we're gonna get harpoons. Alright, I'm gonna need to save up food so I can like buy back all that land. Uh, be an axe thrower. Let's make a shield bearer camp. Go build. So I need 140 food for this. I have three sheep. Let's kill one of you. This is gonna be such pain. I don't know how to see how much of that rhinestone that I've collected either. It's like not a resource up here and when I check the forge it just shows I need 40 and don't have 40. So... Uh, huh. Fisherman's hut over here. You come build this. And do I have all the fishermen I need over here? Yep, that building is full. really well with wood. Uh, I'm starting to lose crowns so I'm probably gonna need to build like a marketplace and do all that research. Gonna need the iron. What do we got over here? We've got a draugr camp and a shipwreck. Oh hey I could have a long ship dock over here. Okay. Organize a feast. You get some more gold. Oh, I swear they're building faster, it feels like. Uh, another villager who's not doing anything. Come be another fisherman. We have enough wood to go ahead and make another food silo. And our research is ready. Harpoons! Yes. Uh, food production during winter is reduce... Oh, reduce loss of food production by 50%. Wood consumption by 15 Yeah. Let's do that. We're gonna need a lot of food. We're still feasting. Oh yeah. Maybe take this next and get a long ship out going because we're losing gold. Come down and do that. My population is max. Come down and search the shipwreck. So let's build a house here by the woodcutters. Alright. Oh, I can have another fisherman. Oh, can I have another fisherman on each? Yes, I can. Sweet. That'll really help. Scout searching that. We're getting the long ship dock. Probably gonna raid for lore. 
Uh, do I have- I should have enough food for my bear. But not enough gold, because I'm losing gold. Awesome. Okay. This is fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> and we've got a longship dock. You, I want you to be a sailor. Let's go sailing for lore. I'm gonna need another person to be a sailor. And start raiding. Bring me back some crowns. Right, I've got 40 stone. I could probably uh, increase... Nope, they require... That's a weird noise. They require iron, not... Not stone. Dang. Upgraded buildings require stone. Uh, they want better houses. I can't upgrade because I have no money. Boo. So I need enough food to take like all of these at once. I think I have enough. Alright, let's colonize, colonize, colonize. Huh, I can't build a mine there. Ah, why not? Oh, there's nothing to mine. It already ate all of that. What? Oh god, I have no villagers. Uh... Uh, you go be a villager and then go build and be a miner. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it already ate all of that that quick. I like didn't even see any of it. Oh, I should have done trading. What am I doing? Oh well, this is fine. Totally under control. And upgrade a house. That'll help my happiness. Okay. Can I really not get my bear back yet? Uh. Yep, it's gonna attack probably this spot. Of course, where my person's building. It's probably going to attack as soon as they're done building. Let's colonize more. Mine! Start mining! I'll just pull my miners out of the tile. Um, let's get my mines prepared in other places. One villager. Shoot, I just made them a miner. Um, let's take one of my lore masters. Go build up all the other mines. Okay, where? Where? Okay, that's perfectly fine. I don't care. Okay, I've got two villagers. Let's send one to build a mine over here. Obviously, we're not going to build one where it currently is. Okay. None of my peeps are over there. They'll run away. Doing really good on food. Yeah, just stay there. We need we need this stuff. Rhyme steel. How many are in each one? Okay, there's quite a bit. As long as it doesn't get eaten. Okay, it's not at the one with my miners. That's okay. come up here and start over here. Alright. Oh, yep. They're going where my miners are. Come here. Everybody just pull back. Let it take that territory. And then it's probably going to go for this one. Oh, did my... Yeah. 
my villager I sent to go be a miner just walked through and freaking got killed. Come this way. Don't go through that one. Now come up here. Okay, where's it gonna attack next? I think it just keeps going until all of my territory is gone. Well, that really sucks. I can take this back. Okay, they're going in to distract it. That's fantastic. Let's colonize this one. And this one. I think we got the ore out of that. Where are we at? Still not 40. I wish I could tell how much I had. <laughs> oh, right here. 32 out of 40. Okay, where's it going? That one? That's fine. That's totally fine. Leave my miners to their thing. I'm fine with that. So what else? Um... There's something here I need to fight. What's on this? I don't see anything. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Still not after my miners. That's fine. I'm at 36. Can I colonize any other tile? Let's recolonize this one and see if he'll come back to that one. So I'm kind of playing like whack-a-mole. <laughs> Shoebearer's cost less crowns. Shoebearer can't no longer have upkeep costs. Yes, please. I'm getting ready to move. Okay. They're still good. I'm at 38. Let's colonize this one. Maybe I'll come back for that one and leave these guys alone as they get the last little bit that I need. Yes. Okay, we have enough rhyme steel to start forging the worm slayer. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna pull my guys out of there then. Since I don't really need them anymore. Uh, let's forge. Get a couple of civilians on that. And my warband is okay, my small warband. Um, you're the scout. I want to occupy this. What do I need over here? Oh, I can colonize it. Wow, 350. I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, okay, none of my people are being attacked, so this is fine. And they're working on forging the Worm Slayer. Okay, we've got this a little more under control now. Uh, you come over here and explore that. And there's some iron, which I really want. So basically I can't keep hold of any of this territory. I'm just gonna destroy that mine. So this is pretty much as far as I can expand and get these last couple of tiles. That's totally fine. Worm Slayer is almost forged. Oh, my happiness is minus one. I think I have a spare person for a brewer. I should bring it up to zero. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's what's attacking over here? Okay, the Worm Slayer is complete. I don't really care. I care about my land being attacked. I'm gonna lose my woodcutter, aren't I? I swear, sometimes these cutscenes come at the worst possible time. Ooh, it was about time. Now I get to live up to my family's tradition of slaying Hermingdar. Oh boy, I can't wait. This outright makes us famous for sure. I cannot lie, I am indeed a tad excited, but mostly terrified. Exciting indeed. I cannot wait to be chewed alive. Oh, live. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, what's what's attacking over here? I can't even see. Okay, it's a Draugr from the Draugr camp. I think... I think my woodcutter's okay. Oh, do I have my bear back? I have my bear back. Um... Yeah, my woodcutter is fine. I still got woodcutters. Uh, and now I had somebody over here. Let's get another miner. Let's get some iron ore so I can upgrade my stuff. I need more civilians so I can build an army and then go take this thing out. right now. I'm losing wood. That's okay. Maybe. Oh, that's right, because I took away one of my woodcutters. Hey. Good job, scout. Uh, you're jobless, so come over here and be a woodcutter. You're jobless, so be a woodcutter as well. And then you're just at the forge. I'm doing really well with food. Not well with gold. What else can I do for gold other than a trading post or earn crowns? I think merchants earn crowns just passively. I don't think I need the trade research, do I? Increase the sailor's resource production, unlocks trading routes after... oh, at the trading post. They produce more. Yeah, so if I build that stuff they should just make crowns. Probably go for monster slayer and legendary hero. Somebody without a job. Oh yeah, you at the forge. It's fine. Uh, Warband. I can't upgrade anybody. It makes a really weird sound whenever I hover over some of these. Um. Maybe I should upgrade my sailors? Start with Monster Slayer, and I can grab Baldur's Blessing. I want that boost in happiness to crank out more peeps. Who do I want to upgrade? Not the Scout, because I don't need any Scouts. My Miners, I'm not going to have around very long. Do my let's do my lore masters. And you be a merchant. Make me more money. And you also be a merchant. Okay. So I think I just need to start building up my army. And I should be good to go then. I might need to build another house here in a minute. Where can I build houses? Yeah, let's put a house up here. I don't have a villager to build that. Whoops. I've got one coming soon though. Halfway there. done upgrading lore masters and we've got some more that they can upgrade let's make sure our food production stays good let's upgrade those fishermen and then if we have enough iron we'll try to upgrade oh we're not gonna have enough iron I was gonna say some of my military units but oh well 
It's fine. Where's the iron over there if I feel like taking out that Draugr camp? Projectile resistance. Oh, okay, that's what she has. Same with the bear. Alright, so it seems like we have everything mostly under control. My food production's real good. About halfway up to my storage. It's just my money that's kind of lagging now. Okay, I got a villager, let's go build that house. Happiness is only at two. Let's upgrade this. Ooh, there we go. And does that mean I can have another- yep, I can have another person working there. And they're done with this, so let's break that down. You come up here, let's make you a shield bearer. Yeah, I have an axe right now, let's make a shield bearer. And can I afford to make you a warrior? Yes, I can. I but see, I'm going broke just making people. Um, let's do another shield bearer. They're pretty good. Trading post is only 80 wood. Yeah, might as well build one. Get some more merchants for some more crowns. Those runes have already been searched. Nothing else on that land. Alright. Oh, I still own <laughs> some land up here. Didn't take that. <gasps> That's funny. I can always buy iron if I need to, but once again, I don't have enough money for anything. My money management has been very poor on this one. I've nearly got a full war band. I wonder if I'll be able to do that with just six people. I mean, technically it's eight. Join my war band. I've got two shield bearers. Let's make another warrior. Ayo! Legendary heroes, please. Yep. Probably want military strategy too. Which type of friendly military unit in the area? Max 25% attack. I should probably get that. One more villager. And I need another axe thrower probably, but I don't have the gold. Let's organize a feast and boost everything, because I can have plenty of food for that. Uh, are we close to another villager? Yeah, let's send you down to the trading post. Nothing I can trade with around here. Not to mention, I haven't done the research. <laughs> oh hey, there was more fish up here. Mm. I think I'm good on food. And it doesn't matter if we fight during the winter. 
I've got 94 gold now. Let's make you an axe thrower and let's see if I can just uh, do this. Everybody else will come with. Oh, I wonder if they're impacted during the winter. You know what? They might be. Let's come back. Just because I don't want to have any disadvantages with my allies. Mm. I wonder if I can colonize this and bring it up here for an attack. I'm under attack up here, another draugr. Come on, uh, back up, there we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, it doesn't look like he's gonna come down to any of the territory anymore. Now that I have the Worm Slayer. So can I actually build... A Shield Bearers camp on there without it getting attacked? I'm gonna go ahead and organize another feast right away. Okay, it's gonna attack, so I'm gonna say that's a no. <laughs> but that's good. And it's gonna come down and maybe we can just wreck it. Is there anywhere else I can build another... Whoops. Shield bearers camp. Up here. This one without a job. Come up here and build this. Oh, they want better houses, so let's upgrade another house. I'm a Yarl. Yeah, okay. Where are the Draugrs again? Really? Dang, guys, give me a break. And then the worm went up to attack the old spot that it hadn't taken. It's fine. Come down to this spot. Where we can reach you easily. And you finished building that, so become a shield bearer for me please. And let's have another shield bearer. And yep, it's down here. Everybody gather. And let's go in. Oh my gosh. Oh, my people just melt. Do it. <gasps> Did we do it? Yeah, we killed it. I feel relieved. See, Piggy, the beastie's dead. I think I'll need a bigger fireplace, though. Tis a big one. Strange. The air suddenly became slightly warmer. My ancestors used to say Kilna Rim Rimgandir could hasten spring. Maybe that's why winters were getting harsher in the region. Svarn, the only thing left to do is decipher the runestone of Asgard. Yes, let us see what truth the runes have to tell us. Oh, 
Well, that started out really iffy. Whew. Glad we got that taken care of. We had finally reached the rune stone of Asgard. Whoever Vedrung was, his actions seemed to be foretold by the old scriptures etched in the stone. Svarn translated. He will want to set the men free from the yoke of the All Father, for he does not want them to share in his feast, and to this end he will destroy Bifrost. As the wail of Yallarhun echoes through the skies, the sons of Muspel will march on Asgard. Thus the gods shall meet their fate, and the age of men shall begin, Svarn concluded thoughtfully. There was no map to Bifrost on the rune stone, but one stanza read that it was beyond Bergelmir's throat. This was a kenning, a metaphor for the icy cliffs far to the north. All right, so that chapter is down, and yep, we're going up here to chapter 10, which is where I thought. And it kind of looks like there's not much room for any more, maybe up here. So it looks like we're kind of winding down. Uh, I wonder what the bonus objectives were for that. Let me take a peek. I got one of them, have 10 different types of military units at any one time. Nice, and there's slay them before year four and exploit four rhyme steel mines at any one time, so basically be on a tile with four. Dang. Okay. Well, that one was a fun one. It was a little dicey there at the beginning. I wasn't sure how I was going to keep that thing from wrecking everything, but it seems like all the tiles with rhinestone are worth only 70 food, and they don't get any more expensive than that like normal, and so the key is to just buy a whole bunch of them and try to have different mining areas. That way when he's attacking one area you can still be mining at another area. So food production is super important in that one. That way you have enough food to buy it all and do that all at once. At least you don't have to worry about it once you get the rhyme steel. You don't need to use it for anything else which is good. But yeah I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I'm just still gonna do one chapter at a time on Sundays. I know it makes today was a bit of a shorter stream actually. We went through that pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying the story. It looks like we're finally winding down with it. I'm excited to see what the last, I'm assuming last couple of chapters are going to be. And then maybe I'll do some multiplayer with some friends sometime before I figure out what new strategy game I'm going to play. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're all staying healthy, staying safe. And again, thanks for joining me on this gaming adventure. Have a great day.